Further evidence that Epstein-Barr virus, also known as EBV, is associated with Sjogren's disease. By the time most of us are 30 years of age, the vast majority, I mean over 95% from my recollection, of individuals have been exposed to EBV. Most commonly, we contract EBV when we are children. We can have the symptoms of a cold. We can also have no symptoms. Further, if we haven't contracted it by the time we're uh, moving into adolescence, when we're a teenager, half the time EBV can cause mononucleosis. And then the other half of the time, it can also be asymptomatic. By the time we're 28, at least 95% of us have had an exposure to EBV. EBV is very interesting because it's a virus that seems to evade our immune system and our immune system and about 20% of people has a hard time keeping it at bay. You can also think of keeping it kind of sequestered. And when this virus is evading the immune system, it can lead to hyperactive immune responses as is seen in Sjogren's disease. If you know someone with Sjogren's or if you are suffering with Sjogren's, check out my content, like, subscribe, share, send me your thoughts. Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist, chiropractic physician from Gates Brain Health and Advanced Imaging Reno.